Let us explore how to write improper fractions as mixed fractions. So the question before us is convert the following improper fractions to mixed fractions. So we did a video on this with smaller numbers and you saw how simple it was. We just wrote the numerator in terms of denominator. So we'll have two techniques in this. One technique which we have already learned and then a new technique that is to divide. I know most of you avoid dividing but let's do it this time okay so we'll have two techniques if you prefer the first one continue with that doesn't matter so we have 21 over 5 and we need to write 21 as sum of fives how many fives in 21 that is what we're trying to figure out so let's write 5 plus 5 is 10 10 plus 5 15 plus 5 20 we're left with 1 that's it over 5. If you can do repeated addition, this is not a bad technique, right? But you know, repeated addition is even tougher at times. Anyway, how many 5s do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 5s means 4 whole numbers and you remain with 1 out of 5. So that becomes your mixed fraction. Do you see? Do you see that? You can do like that also. So you got all these fives lined up. One, two, three, four. There goes four. And one fifth. Do you see that fraction here? That's how it could be. Now, let's do the next one. Seven over two. How many twos in seven? We say two plus two is four. Four plus two is six. You are left with one. That's it. So we can say this is equal to this. How many twos? One, two, three. So let's write equals to three and you're left with just half. That's what it is. You're again left with one over two. Okay, that's our fraction. Good job. Ten over three. Let's write in threes. So you know threes, three times one, three times two, three times three, like that. So we go by addition this time. 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 3 is 9, you want to go up to only 10, that means 9 plus 1 is 10. That's how you get it. How many 3's did you get? 3 3's. What do you, what remains? 1 remains. So we get 3, 1 over 3 as the mixed fraction. So that is how you can convert improper fraction to mixed fraction using repeated addition. At times it could be tough. Imagine if I write 210, then you will lose the count of adding. It will become difficult. So what we will do in those cases is we'll take help of division. Okay, let's do it. We have to do it one day, right? So let's divide. So let's make something like this. I hope you remember this is something to divide with. And 21 goes inside, 5 remains outside, 5 goes how many times in 21? 5 times 1 is 5, times 2 is 10, times 3 is 15, and times 4 is 20. So when you take away 20 from 21, you get remainder 1. So see how the numbers are related. 4 is a whole number, do you see that? And 5 were the parts which remains in the denominator and that remainder come on the top. So this remainder goes here. So we say 4, remainder 1 and that is this one. 5 remains in the denominator. So let's do it once again. So this time we'll divide 7 by 2. 7 by 2. At times students also write like this division, right? So we'll do this type. So 7 goes 3 times, I mean 3 times 2 is 6 and so you get 1 remainder. That's what I have written here. 3 is the quotient, whole number. 1 is the remainder, 1 divided by 2. That is how you can write your improper fractions as mixed fraction. Now let's try to do 10. So 10 divided by, so let's write like this, this time. A different kind of division symbol so we have 10 inside 3 outside and 3 times 3 is 9 as you know remainder is 1 3 1 3 
that's how it goes. So we could divide and write improper fractions as mixed fractions. Do you understand? So that goes inside divide by 3. Fraction basically means divide by. So 7 divided by 2, 7 divided by 2 gives you 3 wholes and a half remains, right? That is what it is. So you could also convert improper fractions to mixed fractions by division. In fact, this is the preferred method. But for the time being, if you're not very clear about dividing, and if you're still learning it, then this is a neat method of doing. It's a substitute for division for the time being. Right? Soon, you should be picking up this. Okay? All the best. Let's move on. Thank you.